We're in Darwin! Huge empty space. Let's go this way. To the cold? <sighs> Hello everyone. How are we all? We are officially in Darwin. Um, we just got to the tree house. God, I really wish I didn't put fake tan on my face because this looks really bad. Let's hope it exfoliates off rather quickly. Anyway, it is so lovely here. They left us a bottle of champagne in the fridge, which is lovely. Um, I'm so glad we have four nights here. I'm probably gonna go unpack some stuff we just went grocery shopping as well, picked up a few snacks and foods and things. And we're probably just gonna relax for the rest of the night, settle in. My feet are sore, it's been a long day as well, so. I'll give you a little show of the house as well. I think the plan is just chill out, have dinner here tonight. And tomorrow, I think we're gonna head to Berry Springs. And then the day after tomorrow, is probably gonna be a little bit of a day trip to Catherine. So, excited for that. And I'm going to shower and scrub the heck out of my face. I don't know what I did there. It's really awkward. Anyway. <laughs> It's our first day waking up in Northern Territory today. We didn't sleep the best last night because I feel like there was just like a lot of noises. It was hot. There was bugs getting into the room and um, yeah, there were a couple of mozzies through the night, but it's a beautiful day today. So there will be no complaining here. Um, I also get a bit restless when I am not in my own bed, so it'll probably take a couple nights anyway for me to like settle in to the traveling. But honestly, look at my view right now. This is just so nice. And the sounds of all the birds. I also want to sit in that hammock. I don't think I've ever sat in a hammock before. This is just delightful. I think we're still gonna do Berry Springs today. And then I wanna go back into Darwin for the Mindel Beach Markets. 
which start at 4 p.m. I believe. So apparently the sunsets down there are incredible. So looking forward to that. There's also a Mexican place that we found yesterday. We want to go back and try. However, I think at the markets they have like lots of different food stalls so we'll probably see what's there when we get there but yeah i think this morning we're just gonna have some breakfast organize some lunch potentially or just go for a morning swim and come back here for lunch before going into the markets yeah that's our plan <music> last night and my new boots are like wide around the bottom and I tripped on the step. <laughs> and then I saved it so That's it was fine. Great, we are just on our way into Darwin for the evening. We're gonna head to Mindle Beach Sunset Markets tonight uh, for oh did you miss the turn? <laughs> somebody in my way. Oh no we're just gonna get some dinner maybe go for a swim see how it goes. Yeah. I hope they have yummy everyone how are we all happy monday <laughs> so yesterday we just went to berry springs which was really nice it was very crowded um i feel like it's a big tourist spot so we swam there for a bit we went and sat on the grass and like read our books for a bit and then we headed home i think we were home for like an hour before we headed out back to darwin again for the mindle beach sunset markets which was again very crowded <laughs> so many people and then we just came home relaxed went to bed and today is our day trip to Catherine so excited for that they have hot springs down there so yeah that'll be fun and then we want to get home by like sunset so we're not driving in the dark maybe have a bit of a spa night tonight 
we shall see probably leave very soon we're gonna leave as early as we can and so we get there and have enough time to enjoy it so the drive to Catherine is three hours so it's quite a long drive it's gonna be six hours of driving in one day but it looks beautiful so hopefully it's worth it and yeah just gonna go get ready now finish my tea excited outfit of the day dress thrifted bikini depop shoes i think i bought these shoes on another holiday <laughs> when i didn't have thongs
Did you enjoy it? Very much so. It was it's so nice. good. It's so beautiful. Did you see the cows and the horses? I did. I missed that. I couldn't see the horses. Oh, really? Horses. There were so many. <laughs> oh, no. I saw so all the cows with all the birds flying around them. Oh, I didn't oh, see God, the birds. Yay. Two happy chappies. Wings are the work with air flying. Oh my there. god, I never thought about that. Yeah. Tie it down. sunset scenic flight last night which was awesome it was so cool um i took so many videos and photos i was really nervous going into it because when we went to magnetic island we did like a little boat trip to the great barrier reef which was like five hours return and it was a very windy day the water was so choppy and um i threw up every 10 minutes for five hours so i'm not even joking i wish i was exaggerating but i'm not <laughs> and i didn't want to repeat of that especially on a small plane <laughs> so i took some quells before going but it felt so normal i don't think i would have needed them but at least i have them now because i think today we're thinking of going on a jumping crocodile cruise which is on a boat a small boat on a river although rivers are not choppy as the middle of the ocean so <laughs> i think we'll be fine on that too but it's better to be safe than repeating that event that was traumatic so we're checking out of the treehouse this morning and very sad about it because i love it here i think i want to like set up the tripod before we go and get a photo of the both of us together because we don't have any photos of us together like everywhere we've gone has been crowded with people and there's geckos living in the ceiling yeah everywhere we've gone hasn't been the vibe to like get out the huge camera tripod and set it all up and start taking like integral photos so maybe we'll do some here at the treehouse before we leave checkout is 10 a.m so we've got three hours left to like clean up and pack our bags again and get some photos it feels like i'm already sad about this trip ending i don't want it to end I, oh i really don't want to go back home to reality and to working please someone fund my travel life please I don't think I spoke to you since we had our day trip to Catherine. So yeah, we spent um, maybe like three hours in the hot springs. I was expecting them to be hotter. I think they maybe had a cool day when we were there. But yeah, that place was very crowded as well. And then on the drive home, we saw a sign that said Edith Falls. And we were like, maybe we just like, maybe we just drive down there. <laughs> Do you want to just go down there? It was 20 k's down the road so we decided to take a little detour even though that meant that we would be driving home in the dark but we went anyway and it was amazing there's like this big lake and then at the end of it there was waterfalls and the water was freezing there too it was so cold and there was a family on the steps while we were getting into the water and so I don't think I would have managed to get myself in that water if there wasn't people behind me like wanting to also get in I jumped straight in which is so unlike me <laughs> I'm such a wuss with cold water yeah it was stunning we took some photos we got the big camera out we had to like wade across a small part of the lake with the camera like 
pulling the camera above my head so it didn't get wet and so that I could because there was a small island in the middle of the lake so I like walked out there with the camera above my head um it was also slippery so that was very brave of me my camera is my baby yeah and then we got some cool photos I'll show you some now and if I don't it's because I already inserted them <laughs> But we are so glad we did that little detour to Eater Falls because it was beautiful. We didn't have time to like explore the higher pools and the higher waterfalls. And I was thinking like, holy shit, I actually really want to come back here because this is awesome. But who knows when we'll be back in Northern Territory. And then we just got pizza for dinner, which we also ate the leftovers last night. Yesterday morning was kind of like a chill morning. I started emptying my camera. We had lunch here before starting the uh, two and a half hour drive to Jabiru. Also, we didn't know whether we needed a Kakadu pass to come into Jabiru for the flight, but um, we rang the person and they said, no, you don't need a pass if you're just coming to the airport. You only need a pass if you're like camping or hiking or stuff like that in the national park so that was good because they are $40 per person we got to Jabiru and we were like do we need this pass do we have to spend $80 right now just f like for our flights that we've already spent $500 on but yeah we didn't need to which was good so anyway this morning we're just gonna pack up clean up Actually, have time for some photos. I think checking at the next place is like 2 p.m. I'll have to double check, but we do need to go shopping because we're in a tourist park that doesn't have places we can buy food for dinner. So we're gonna have to go shopping before we go to the new place today and just get some like burgers and sausages and vegetables and stuff like that because I think all they have is like barbecues out in the front deck of our little cabin so I'm not even sure if there's a microwave but if there is we'll look at you know like microwave meals for lunch and stuff like that that's kind of the plan we're also going to look into the jumping crocodile cruises from what I can tell there's like heaps of availability left if you're booking last minute the only thing is we have to drive to get ourselves there which is I think it's only like 38 k's to get there but my worry is the mileage on the car that we rented because we've done so many long trips we are ticking up kilometers and I don't really know what happens if we go over that and I feel like we're gonna go over it uh, so I'm a little bit worried about like using up a lot of it I don't know if there's like a fine if you go over the mileage or yeah I have no idea but yeah, we're still undecided on whether we'll do the croc cruise today. I think it'll be cool. I feel like you can't come to Northern Territory and just like not see the crocodiles. <laughs> and the crocodile cruises are only like $50 per person, I think. So they're pretty cheap. I'm gonna get on with cleaning up now um, and also gathering my things. I don't want to though. I love it here. <laughs> You son of a bitch. <laughs>
this juice. This is the laugh, isn't it? Mm.